Hello, it's Sonia here with The Pretty Stitch. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, I'm so happy to have you here. So today we are going to be doing a quick project, another 18 inch doll project, and we are going to be making some sandals. So I already have one made, and it's with that orange. I thought it would be cute for that set. I made a set with uh, shorts and a top, and I thought maybe she needs a pair of sandals. So I, obviously I still need to weave in some ends, but here is the one that I've already made. And these would also go with, I also have a pattern set for a skirt and a top. So if you wanted to uh, make a pair of sandals for that as well, you could certainly do that because it's a uh, summery. And we are in heading into summer where I live. So to get started, the nice thing with this project is it's made all in one piece. So um, no cutting and sewing and all that stuff. All right, so to get started, we are chaining seven. So I am using my G hook or 4.25 millimeter hook. And I have DK weight yarn. This is Stylecraft DK weight. You probably could also use Karen Simply Soft. Um, you could even use like a very light worsted weight yarn for this project. Now the disclaimer I have is some dolls that are 18 inch dolls, I have American Girl dolls. So their feet are about two and a half inches long. And I have heard that some of the other 18 inch dolls, the feet might be a little bit longer. So you, I'm sure that you could adapt this pattern to fit a larger, um, you know, larger feet. If your doll has larger feet, you could even probably bump up a hook size or, you know, it, it's really not a difficult pattern. So once you've made a pair and if they're a little too small, you might be, I'm sure you could adapt it to fit your doll. All right, so we are going to chain seven. So I have my seven chains here. So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. You can work in your chain however you like. And we're going to single crochet in the next two chains. So we'll have a total of three single crochet. Now we are going to work half double crochet in our next chain. And we are going to work another half double crochet in the next chain. Now we are at our last chain here. In the last chain, we are going to work five half double crochet. And as you can see, I'm swinging over to the other side because we will be working on the other side. So we need to work one more and then we have five. So now we are working on the other side of our chain. So now we are going to work two half double crochets. So we're just working on the other side of the chain. So here is one half double crochet in the one chain and then we're working another one in the next chain. So we have three chains left, so we're going to single crochet, work one stitch in each in the next two chains. And then we have one more chain here, work two single crochet in the last chain here. And we're not going to join, so here we go. This is the sole of our shoe, the bottom of it. So now we're ready to work round two. So this was round one and you should have 16 stitches at the end of round one. And so now for round two, we are going to work two single crochet in the next, in that first stitch there. So one and two. So two stitches in that first stitch. We're going to single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. So now we are going to work two single crochet in the next five stitches. So two stitches in each.
Okay, so we work two stitches in the next five stitches. So now we work a single crochet in the next four stitches. So there we go. So we are going to work two single crochet in the next stitch. And now we're going to join in our next stitch, so to complete the round. So we're joining with a slip stitch. So technically, this stitch would be our last stitch, but we are not going to work that stitch for round two, but that's okay. So now we are going to be working on rows. So this is the bottom of the shoe and we're going to work on the heel part here. We're going to chain one and we're going to single crochet right in that same stitch and single crochet in the next two stitches for a total of three and we will be working in rows. So we have our three stitches. We're going to chain one and turn. We're going to single crochet just across for three stitches. So this is row two. And we want to work one more row. So chaining one, turning our work, and now we are working row three. And in the back of the heel will be done. So if you're confused with the construction, this is where we're going here. All right, so now we need to work on our straps. So to work the straps, we're going to chain 12. Okay, so we have our 12 chains. So what you want to do is on this side of our shoe, this is the left side here, and I'm a right-handed crocheter, we are going to skip seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In our next stitch, we are going to work a slip stitch to anchor that first strap. So this is what we're, sorry, I'm like it's flipping around. So that's what we're looking like. It, it doesn't look too great right now, but you know, trust me, we're gonna get there. All right, so now we're going to go work in our strap. We're just gonna turn, we're not chaining one, and we're going to slip stitch back in this chain. So in these 12 chains, we're going to slip stitch. And you can work in your chain however you like. Okay, so that was chain 12. So there we go, there is our strap. So now we are going to slip stitch across the back of the heel. So just one, two, and three. And we're going to chain 12 again. Okay, so I have my 12 chains. So now we are going to work, let me get this end out of the way. On this side, we are going to skip our seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're going to slip stitch in this next one. So now we have our second strap anchored on there. Okay, so we are actually almost done. So what we need to do is we're gonna go back in this chain and we're gonna slip stitch in the first four chains. Okay, so I've slip stitched in four stitches. So now we're going to go back to the other strap. And so what you wanna do is you wanna skip 
four stitches up here. So one, two, three, four. And then in this next stitch, and you can work in any loop of that stitch. You can work in both loops, one loop, the front loop, back loop, it's fine. I'm just gonna pop that up a little bit so we can see it. We are going to work through this chain. So I'm inserting my hook in the next chain, and then I'm gonna go over to that loop on the strap on the other side and just work a slip stitch to join it. And I'm going to do that two more times. So I'm inserting my hook in the next chain and I'm just grabbing a loop and pulling through and again, going back in the next chain and going into the next loop. And now I'm going back, I have five chains left. I'm going to slip stitch across these last five chains, not working in this other one here. And there's my last chain working it. Oops, grabbed an extra. We're splitting, we're splitting it. We don't want to, we don't want to split up. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so now our sandal is all done. So what you'll want to do is cut your yarn. you're going to want to weave in your ends and here's the other one so then you'll have so oh, I have it the wrong way so this part is the heel so you will to put it on the doll you're going to put the foot in this way and then the back of the heel and then the toes will stick out the front there so I hope you enjoyed this project and if you did, please like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.